I'm Missy Anderson, the Invasive Species Coordinator at Three Rivers Park District. Now I'm here today to talk to you about another one of the invasive species in the exhibit called Gone to Seed by Margie Grill that's currently at Silverwood. Here we have common buckthorn. So you can see it's loaded with fruits and take a look down here. Here you can see fruit on one of the stems that's left over from last year. It's a dark, almost black in color now. The leaves are not yet out, although some of the buds are just starting to break on buckthorn. But you can see on the stems this gray color and these dark brown buds. In between some of the buds, at the end of the branches, there's a thorn, hence the name buckthorn. On some of the younger growth, you'll see an olive color, kind of a, um, almost a bronzy sheen to the bark, and then these white spots, those are lenticels. When plants are small, smaller than about uh, the size of your pinky, you can just pull them out of the ground. When you pull them out, be sure to pile them somewhere where the roots no longer have contact with the soil. With larger plants, you'll need to get a tool and cut them off at ground level. After they're cut, we need to kill the root system, otherwise buckthorn will just grow back. So you'll either need to cover the cut surface with black plastic or treat the cut surface with herbicide like I've done here. You can also see on this larger one that I've cut the orange color underneath the bark. That's also diagnostic for buckthorn. I'll post a link for a great resource on the Minnesota DNR website that gives you all kinds of information about how to plan your buckthorn control no matter what the size. So great information about how to plan the treatment, details about how to treat buckthorn, and how to dispose of it properly. You might also check your county or city websites in case there's more information about how to properly dispose of buckthorn in your area. Treating buckthorn is a great project to protect our Minnesota forests and improve wildlife habitat. So thanks for listening and good luck with all your invasive species removal projects.